we see is that AI and ML is emerging as almost a ubiquitous workload. I was listening to a discussion by a Canadian researcher recently who referred to this as an AI pandemic. And I think he's right. AI is really emerging in all areas of business and science as well, because it really offers an ability to unlock much more from the data than one could do, for example, with traditional analytics. Being able to move to predictive capabilities is extremely important. There are two main places where GPUs, from our perspective, are useful for customers. One is high-performance computing, and the other one is AI, machine learning, data science, et cetera. And in fact, we've had GPU virtualization in vSphere for a long time, specifically with virtual desktop infrastructure. What's really exciting is that if you look back about a year ago, all we had on the compute side on vSphere was the ability to use pass-through mode. We've now enabled vCompute server, which offers the ability to do fractional GPUs, full GPUs, and multiple GPUs on the platform, not just for graphics, but also for compute. And in addition, with the recent BitFusion acquisition that VMware did, we're now able to extend those capabilities into the distributed realm. Beyond that, the announcements of the upcoming release of GPU capabilities in VMware Cloud on AWS further enhances our abilities jointly to bring what our customers need to the table for running these really important workloads. So having access to GPU resources in the data center is critically important to customers because the workloads that they need to run on those systems are becoming increasingly important to the businesses, whether it's an HPC application or an ML AI application. And what we can bring to bear for them in those virtualized environments is the ability to do things like secure multi-tenancy, the ability to rapidly provision these resources for users, the ability to offer self-provisioning. We can essentially bring the full power of an enterprise virtualization platform to bear for this new class of workloads that are emerging as being critically important for these customers. We've actually done significant joint engineering between the two organizations to pull this off. One example I would call out would be vMotion. So the ability to take a vGPU enabled VM move it from one box to another, really required close interactions between the two engineering teams and the product teams to pull this off. I think the customers that benefit from the technologies and advances that we've announced jointly with NVIDIA are really only those customers that have data, which of course is everyone.